Now, uh, let's talk about Angela Rayner. Uh, I don't know what you think about this, Ella, but uh, it looks to me as if uh, even the Labour Party are sort of uh, taunting uh, uh, Ms Rayner mm. over her domestic arrangements. Did she or did she not deliberately evade uh, capital gains tax when she sold her house in Stockport, a right to buy Maggie Thatcher council house? Uh, uh, and uh, the front page of the Mirror today, massive great banner headline, is Rachel Rees, Labour pledge, we will punish tax dodgers. I mean, <laughs> given... The circumstances, that looks to me oh, like a dear. message to Angela. Sort yourself out. It's awkward, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I, I don't care about the Rainer thing at all. And I think a lot of people agree I'm with me. I'm sort of with you on which that. Which is that, I mean, I think it amounts to a grand or something. Mm. Um, so, or, yeah, yeah, you know, so this is not big money. You know, I suppose that's one point. I also think that... I don't know if I can say it on telly, but, you know, it's something that lots of people have done and lots of people... Oh, yeah, have you're right done. about that. Absolutely. And, you know, unaf Absolutely. Unaf you know no one's going to condone it officially, but I think there's a lot of people just kind of shrugging, thinking, oh, well, whatever. I reviewed the um, Lord Ashcroft book, uh, <laughs> unofficial biography oh, on her, oh. which was all about trying to make a big deal out of Rainer being this kind of chancer he was painting her as. Um, that flopped, and, again, it just didn't... That kind of hit job style thing didn't work on her, um, and rightly so. But, you know, I, I, the announcement from the Labour Party about sort of tax dodging, it just feels kind of cheap electioneering. I don't think mm. there's anything really that substantial about it. Obviously, some people think tax is really important. I, it bores backside yeah. off me, so I'm not one of those people. But, the, but, you know, this it's a bit like sort of thumping the table saying, we're yeah. going to get serious on crime yeah. and... It's just a bit to, to me, this predictable. Whole, it's predictable. The whole Angela Rayner saga. They get themselves saga. in a mess, Labour. Well, they do. Yeah, yeah. The whole Angela Rayner saga, to me, just seems like payback for the amount people like her would go after the opposition for any sort of peccadillo or accusations of not being entirely truthful, you know, sort of language and rhetoric that comes out of her mouth against whether it be Boris Johnson or whoever. And it's a bit like saying, well, hold on, you know, the boot's on the other foot now, see how you like it. But I, I agree with you. I think a lot of people out there kind of don't want to hear this sort of personal politicking they actually want to know when can i get through to my gp mm. for crying out loud mm. but so people it's not do want to know about edifying. personal politicians they always do like they, they are interested in well, them it's, as individuals. it's kind of funny because that, that stick I don't, to the policies that's what politicians say when they don't want to be in the spotlight themselves i don't want to quite compare i'm not comparing angela rayner to william rag um, <laughs> well, but there's, but give her a break there's a sort of i mean there's an interesting question about politicians' personal conduct yeah. and particularly mm. with, with the Rayner example, you know, if you've got a, 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 a history which is maybe a bit checkered or, you know, you've done some things that aren't completely mm. squeaky clean, you know, mm. Keir Starmer talking to Harry Cole and sort of making these awkward ha-ha sides, yes, I had a very good time as a student. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah. why don't you just come out and say I smoked some pot, so yeah. what, you know? Yeah. But there's... I think a really there's good an time I was at university. Cocaine or heroin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, do we want to have these sort of... Like Rishi Sunak is a, is a good example of a sort of weird person who's never done anything yeah, in his yeah, life yeah. and is a bit like a robot. Or do you want to have someone with a bit of life experience? I don't know. Well, but the thing about uh, Azure Reina is that you, you're right, they've let a pretty small thing kind of escalate into something massive. Mm. Uh, now, if she did dodge this tax, then oh, she should, have just she said, should just say, I'm Look, I've looked. Back over my Sorry, stuff, I'll pay it back. Yeah, here's it the now. three yeah, grand or whatever it, it is. Been done. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And instead, you know, Starmer uh, is studiously not even looking at the mm. evidence that she says she has that proves she did nothing wrong, which is a letter, apparently, allegedly, from a tax expert telling her she was uh, acting appropriately and didn't break the law. Mm. She says she's got this letter. So uh, we keep saying, we don't want to see your tax returns. We want to see that letter. Can you publish that letter? Mm. She won't do it. That uh, arouses suspicions, so we say. And then, worse than that, you go to Keir Starmer and say, have you seen this letter that uh, mm. Angela says exonerates her? Mm. No, I haven't. Why not? Yeah, right. why, well, I'll tell you why not. Plausible deniability. Mm. So if she ends up in trouble on this, he'll be able to say, well, I didn't see it. Yeah, and you're, and you're right. If they're going to slag Boris Johnson about how much the wallpaper costs and that kind of thing, yeah. then they can't... You, you can't really complain when that sort mm. of muckraking comes back on you. And, you know, they're, they're, again, it's sort of... In this age of 
digital sort yeah. of like surveillance. You can see people have pulled up old pictures of her with her cat on her lap, showing that the yeah. throw on the calling sofa home, is the same. Yeah. yeah, and you can't hide from these yeah. things. I yeah. mean, who would be a politician today? It's I easy certainly just wouldn't. to do Maya Culpa, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I mean, that's that's you, the point. That's what she should do. What What do you make of uh, the sort of response that have come from some on the left who have said, "Oh, this is just misogyny and classes and writ large. You're yeah. only going after our Ange rubbish. because she's a working class woman." Well, the Ash, the Ash, I have to be careful now because he's litigious, but the Ashcroft biography I thought was nasty um, and snobbish. And a lot of it was sort of, um, you know, getting quotes from old neighbours who said that, for example, Angela Rayner's mother didn't wash and she smelled because they were so poor and just That's not very nice, horrible not. stuff. Just, right. yeah, um, yeah. A, a, apolitical and, and really <laughs> laden with sort of anti working class snobbery. Um, but of course, there are, you know, you can't use that excuse for everything. Mm. And if you're going to be a politician who, again, you know, criticizes people for their own personal conduct, like Boris Johnson, and does the whole Tory scum routine and all yeah, of that, yeah. um, you have to be, you, you have to accept that you're fair game for it as well. And politics, I, I don't like this idea that politics has to be this sort of nicey, nice, perfect pretend Agreed. world. It, there's a yeah. rough and tumble to it. And when sexism happens, we should call it out. But we also can't, you know, as women, it is not a good look to constantly be crying wolf. But oh, she yeah, should, to play the victim should, and say, oh, this is because I'm a woman, when it's not. This it's is just simple. politics. She either broke the law or she didn't. It doesn't matter who, who she is, but she should remember, and she's no slouch at dishing it out. Mm. And if you dish it out, I've, I've been in the same circumstances myself. I've dished out a lot of stuff in my time, and you've got to be able to take it when it comes your way, and that is her problem. And when a national newspaper, as in the Mail on Sunday and the Daily Mail, day in, day out call the wannabe deputy prime minister of this country flat out, no quote, a quotation marks, a liar, she is lying, then they have a political problem. They've got to get rid of this.